All right, so we're just about two weeks away from Fortnite Season 6 launching. It's really getting close, and we still are pretty much in the dark in regards to information. Now, I said two weeks because, in fact, the original date is September 25th. However, in the in-game's file during a data mine, they found that October 2nd appears to be the new date for the launch of Season 6. There has been no announcements, so we're not exactly sure what day is the official date, but in-game it still is showing as the 25th of September. So I guess we're gonna have to wait and see. Today, guys, we're going to be taking a look at everything we know in regards to speculation and potential behind Season 6. You have a relatively good idea of what is to happen or what people are talking about in the Fortnite community. Before we get any further, guys, if you're new to the channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button. We have a lot of great Fortnite team challenge based videos, things that you've never seen before done in the game. We're really excited for Season 6, of course. We have great content coming out as a team, and on top of that, we also are going to have great Blackout and Black Ops 4 related videos if you're a fan of of Call of Duty. So look forward to the channel. Make sure you have post notifications turned on. If you do, I want to know by having you comment down below, hashtag post noties, and we'll reply to every single person that does that as it's much appreciated. Of course, drop a like on today's video. If this video in fact hits a thousand likes, we're going to give away two starter pack kits to people down in the comment section below that leave a nice comment and on top of that include their Instagram or Twitter so we're able to reach out to them just like these guys up on screen. Also, if you want to enter yourself in skin giveaway, we hold those over on the Carnage Clan Twitter quite frequently. Make sure to follow us over there. That link will be included right at the top of the description below. It's just at Carnage Clan. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump in to today's video. Like I said, we have a lot to talk about and I'm very, very excited to talk to you and show you guys images, discuss details, and kind of talk about all the speculation that is going on right now. I want to premise this with Epic Games having a fantastic hold on all the information for Season 6. They've really done a good job at uh, not necessarily necessarily hyping it up because I don't know about how hyped season six is right now because one we really don't know much but also the mystery behind season six has been so in depth that nobody has figured out anything uh, but we do have some information that I think is going to give you a better idea uh, so obviously the the cube plays a big part in what we're going to be seeing here in season six it's been making its way from you know the 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 desert paradise palms the edge of paradise palms I should say all the way across in this kind of squiggly line that's currently sitting in Pleasant Park and making its way over to the edge of Loot Lake. Now, I want to show you this, guys. This is the image of the path that the cube has taken. And if you look at it, it's actually made a perfect cube in, you know, making lines and connecting them all. It's, in fact, made a cube. The path that the cube has taken has, in fact, made a cube itself, which is really, really interesting and definitely has some significance. And on top of that, it is left behind runes, seven to the current moment, which will probably be eight uh, at its final location, which is expected to be at the edge of Loot Lake. We don't know exactly what it's going to do once it makes its way there, but on its way, it is left and printed into the ground these runes, which we have no idea what they are. Some of them have matched up to POIs, like if you take them and you lay them over the mini-map variation of the specific POIs, one being Tilted Towers, as you can see here, it fits almost perfectly over them. So it's almost like these different runes are maps of, you know, very brief maps of different current POIs on the map. Are these different POIs that are going to get affected in Season 6? That could be a significant point. Um, obviously, we're not exactly sure, but it also has left behind force fields, which have had significance in the past. Obviously, when the rocket took off and it made its way around the map, it made its way to Tilted, and it looked like it was going to hit Tilted, but all of a sudden, this massive force field just went over Tilted and blocked the rocket, and the rocket, you know, went into the force field and then shot back out at you know, over by Loot Lake, actually. So these force fields have been seen in the past. And it's interesting to see that this cube has left them behind at each rune location. Also, when people have been looting at Loot Lake, they have noticed these purple flashes occurring. We're not sure if these are just glitches, but I highly doubt that as Epic Games is a very calculated company. And I don't think they would have made mistakes like this. I think there's simple, you know, hints at what is to come. Obviously, we know something is happening to Loot Lake one way or another. And that, and that leads into our next topic here. So he Heat maps have been created over Loot Lake, and I'll show these on screen right now. And as you can see, it appears that there are either craters or like kind of lava flows uh, kind of imprinted into the map. It seems like very liquidized. I don't even know if that's a word, but it kind of looks like a lava flow. And then you can see these, you know, deep craters in specific spots. Uh, there's also another image that's floating around of kind of like a pyramid, like texturized weird glitch that's occurring in Fortnite uh, from a very high perspective. It's seen only from up above.
of perspectives. So I don't know what that exactly means, but definitely, definitely interesting. And that's where we lead in to textures that were found and also new objects that were found in the Fortnite files, including kind of volcanic crater looks that, uh, looking objects and also new textures that were found. Uh, and I'll actually put these up on screen as you can see here. Um, these are lava textures. It's called uh, volcanic pit underscore lava. And, uh, you know, obviously the colorization is kind of off, but then there's another one that is called uh, volcanic pit underscore rocks. So it's almost like a volcanic texture. So they're obviously doing something in regards to a volcano or a volcanic kind of vibe. Will this relate to a new POI that's going to take over Loot Lake? Is Loot Lake, in fact, going to kind of erupt into a volcanic pit of lava and destruction? I think that's the best bet, to be honest. I guess we'll have to wait and see, but that's kind of where I want to bring in these new concepts, these con conceptual skins and conceptual map designs that were created by our friend that I will link down in the description below. He is a fantastic, fantastic designer and creator. He, you know, he can be found on Twitter. I'll, like I said, I'll link you down below. His name's Sardar, and he came up with these map concepts. As you can see here, he has replaced Loot Lake with a massive volcano that uh, has, you know, leaked lava down the sides of itself and has gone, you know, all the way up towards junk, you know, down towards Dusty, over towards Tomato Town, um, you know, even over towards uh, Snobby even. So definitely an interesting concept. Now, remember, this is only a concept, uh, but very, very cool to say the least. And I hope this is the case because it is really cool. I really like this idea. And on top of that, he also added a new place called Snowy Slope that kind of replaces the unpopular places to land, including Junk Junction and Haunted. Uh, so that would be really cool to see. And also it would introduce, like they did in the bottom right of the map with Paradise Palms, it would introduce a new environment of snow and kind of a hilly, slopey area where there's ice and all that kind of stuff. Uh, that would be super cool to see, kind of like how the uh, Viking Mountain currently has snow falling on it. I would love to see an entire destination where it's just completely iced over. And then in the top right, also an unpopular place to land. He's added in an amusement park, which I think is one of the coolest ideas ever. Here's also another picture that he actually added a roller coaster into the map. Super cool, super well done by himself, and I really, really like it, to be honest. I hope they do this because, like, like uh, Moisty, um, Wailing Woods is just not that popular of a location. That whole upper right part of the map is just not utilized to its full potential, and if they added a really exciting location that's big and exciting, and there's a lot of different places and good loot, uh, including, you know, roller coasters, that would be so cool and really kind of make for a cool dynamic in regards to building and, uh, you know, people going up on the roller coasters. That would be super cool. So I hope that's the case. That would be cool. I don't think there's any really, you know, evidence behind an actual amusement park, but uh, that is that. And then also he added a, uh, a castle location, which is pretty neat as well. Um, but moving on from that, there's also these two skins that have been conceptualized. I don't believe they were made by Sardar and I couldn't find the creator behind them, but it involves a icy figure and also a, uh, a kind of a uh, volcanic figure, which would fit perfectly perfectly with the season six battle pass if these were the top tier skins that everybody worked towards especially if this theme for this whole uh season six concept is you know volcano which is heat and you know contrasting with that snowy icy uh you know icy vibes and environments if they have those clashing environments that would fit perfect for a season six theme and also for season six skins for the battle pass here's those skins and they look so cool in my opinion and also you can look at them as kind of like evil and good kind of the contrast between evil and good and that's how I would like to transition into the next point which is the week 10 loading screen the final and last loading screen going into season 6 which is this and the uh, first off I want to read the little caption that it has the little description it says dark reflection I was looking at someone but it wasn't me and there's a lot of speculation behind what this means if you look closely you can see the bright bomber skin looking and touching the purple Q obviously which has been speculated to be a massive you know trans transition into season six, you can see that she sees her reflection in the cube, but it's not exactly the kind of reflection you'd want to see. It's in fact an evil, very evil, demonic almost reflection of herself. You can see her eyes and her face is not happy. It's, you know, not a good look. And then instead of the, the bright rainbow llama on her uh, on her shirt, you can see what appears to be uh, a, a, a dragon, you know, an evil dragon that's kind of like causing mayhem on it on whatever location that it's placed in, which which 
really leads in to my personal speculation on what season six has to do with. I think season six is going to have to do with contrast and actually a dark or evil variation of the Fortnite map. I think, and this is far-fetched, we could be seeing an entire reskin of the entire season six map where every single location, everything that makes Fortnite, Fortnite is completely changed to an evil dark variation. We could see, you know, even the, the, the trees be more, you know, dead and dark and like have moss hanging from them and they're more, you know, just dark and burnt looking. And then for an example, the llamas, which is, you know, a perfect example here for the Bright Bomber, instead of it being a llama, it's a dragon. What if the llamas were changed into dragons? So instead of seeing little uh, llama pinatas everywhere, they're dragon pinatas everywhere that are kind of darker and evil. Uh, and then all the water areas like Loot Lake, for an example, are now lava and transition to dark volcanoes in evilness. That could be what we're seeing here in Fortnite Season 6. I'm very excited to see what they have in store for us. I want to know your thoughts and opinions down below. I want to end this whole thing with two other things. One, we kind of saw, you know, pets, weapons, skins. Uh, we saw music packs. We saw uh, vehicle decorations kind of added into the files as well. So I think these are big additions that we're going to be seeing in Season 6 that I'm super excited for because this game is perfect for weapon skins and I'm surprised they haven't added it already to be quite honest. And then on top of that, I also wanted to add in, uh, this isn't necessarily a Season 6 like thing but it could be kind of a uh, speculative towards season six, kind of like a hint towards season six. There's a new item that's being added to the game called Porta Fortress. Toss it down to spawn a Porta Fortress and take defense to new heights. Now, this is something that uh, kind of takes the Porta Fort to a new level. I think we're going to be seeing a much larger structure being, uh, you know, created when this is thrown down. Obviously, it's a gold item, so it's going to be a lot rarer, and it's going to be cool to see how this is this is created. There's actually a user that kind of speculated on something like this and he created a, a little uh, video of what he believes this would look like. He actually did it right before the Port of Fortress was created and announced so it's interesting to see how he kind of lined this up perfectly but um, he kind of added like there's a jump pad in there, there's uh, traps added all, at all the entrances so definitely a cool concept but this kind of could add to the whole theme of castles being added to the map possibly things like that. So anyways guys once again drop a like on today's video. If the video hits a thousand likes we'll be picking two winners to have uh, the new starter packs. We'll be giving away the starter packs uh, to two people down in the comment section below. Drop a like on today's video, subscribe to the channel, turn on post notifications, tweet us a screenshot that you have post notifications on to the Carnage Clan Twitter, and we'll respond to some of you guys uh, and kind of shout you guys out. But anyways, guys, hope you're having a fantastic day, and we'll talk to you all in the next one.